Hey guys, it's Hake here, and I got a pretty infected computer here with uh, this crypto uh, locker um, Trojan. This is a uh, very um, one of the most worst pieces of malware you can ever get infected by, in a way, because this will basically decrypt every file on your computer and ch try to demand you to pay a ransom. And what it will do is it will uh, program itself to start when you. S automatically when you boot your computer up and uh, for most users you will be locked down with this type of screen or a similar screen that will demand you to pay money or a ransom for these uh, unlocking files with Bitcoin don't pay these these are it's a scam and uh, we can get your files back and also help you get your computer back now what's worse about this is it normally disables task manager so you can't can hit the control out delete keys to get out of here it completely locks you out and it and as soon as you boot your system up you get presented with this screen there's no way you can get out of it and uh, the only way we can uh, really fix this computer is if we use a bootable uh, anti malware CD because we can't get into the OS now you can try to boot into safe mode but I'm not sure if that will work if you can get into safe mode you're fine but if you can't, that's alright. So, I'm going to show you how you can deal with this. But you're going to need to first go onto another computer and download these files. And we're going to be using Heron's boot CD and we're going to burn that to a blank DVD and we're going to boot this um, computer up with that CD. And then we're going to use that CD to remove this infection off the computer. So first you're going to need a blank DVD if you, and then plug, put that into your computer. And once you have a blank DVD in your computer, you want to on this, I mean, in another computer, you're going to need to get a blank DVD. So now we're on a different computer here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the browser and we're going to write in Heron's Boot CD. This is a free CD which you can get. It's basically a technician will use these CDs to remove. Uh, all kinds of things and even fixed computers that don't boot up but what we're going to be using it for is to remove malware so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to locate the download for Heron's boot CD Which, uh, it, there it is it's in the .zip file I'm going to leave the link in the description of this and you're going to get that and, and download that I've already got that on, on my desktop now if you don't have a CD dr drive in your computer and you want to do this still or if your infected computer doesn't have a CD drive you have to uh, use a USB stick so what you would want to do is you need to get a program that will make your USB stick able so you can boot off of it instead of booting into Windows on your infected computer so you want to if you don't have a CD drive so you want to download Rufus USB stick and this program basically makes allows you to uh, we're going to put hair you can put Heron's boot CD basically on to a USB stick and boot off that instead of using a CD. Now this is only if you don't have an actual CD drive on your computer. If you do then then uh, follow this step and I'll show you how to uh, do it. So I've got Heron's boot CD already downloaded on my computer. I'm going to right click and extract the files. It's very simple to use and you're going to have to have to um, locate the file that says burn to DVD click on this and you're going to select the ISO image and that will be located inside the uh, where you just extracted the files to so wherever you saved it to here is boot CD ISO click on that make sure yours there's a CD inside the computer click start and that will burn the uh, the files over to the CD once that's done, we're going to go onto the infected computer and we're going to use the CD that we just made to uh, fix the computer, alright? So I'm just going to restart this uh, virtual machine to show you. I uh, missed my chance to boot from a CD. Hang on. What you, you, what you need to do is when you first power on the computer, you need to hit the F2 key really fast to boot from a CD, and I missed it, so now we're going back into Windows. 
here, so hang on. Alright, well, I managed to get into the BIOS, so what you want to do is you want to head over to where it says boot. Now, every BIOS is going to be different depending on what computer you have. So, uh, you may want to look for it, but it will be the same general thing. You want to move the CD drive up to the top. If you're using a USB stick, you would move the U removable devices up to the top, but I'm going to be using the CD, so we'll be remo putting this at the top. CD-ROM drive and uh, we'll go exit save and changes and if we've done that right we should boot up into Heron's boot CD. Now I know you can't see this because this is because the resolution is poor but when you get into this you're going to go down to where it says boot to many Windows XP and this is just going to be a basic um, environment where you can log into a mini virtual copy of Windows XP basically on the CD that way you can access the C drive on your infected computer and basically fix it so here we go we've booted up into Heron's boot CD and um, it's very easy to use just let this load And when you load into Heron's boot CD, what you want to do is you want to, uh, let me see if I can make the resolution bigger. It's too big, hang on. Alright. Is you want to hit the start menu. Here. You want to go into, uh, Actually, you want to click My Computer, and you want to look loc locate the uh, the C drive. Now, this may be not the C drive in your case because it could be renamed, but you will know because the the drive that has the most hard drive space will be the actual drive you want to locate. So, boot the C drive up, and in here you're going to look for a Users folder. Locate your username on your infected computer whatever your username was and here you'll locate a folder called app data and look look for loco and then look for temp and if there's any files in here delete these files you don't need these files there's a chance that the infection is in your temp folder so delete every file you see in your temp folder and click back then go into uh, Microsoft and you're going to locate these files that are .exe. If you see any .exe files in here, you're going to right click on them and delete them because most likely these .exe files that are part of the actual um, scripto uh, locker infection that holds your computer ransom. So you want to delete these two .exe files if there is any. And you can see these these are your these these are part of scripto uh, lock for infection because you can see scripted files dot text as a log file this infection actually creates and uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, exit out of your uh, out of the uh, explore window and you want to go over to the start menu you want to look for run and you want to write reg edit in All right, so look for H key current users. Look for software. Look for Microsoft. Look for Windows and open these files up. Then you're going to look for current version and click on that. Click run. And you might wait, there's no files in here because this is Hang on. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you'll find anything in here because this is to do with the, the CD's registry, not your actual OS that's infected. So, uh, 